Hello and welcome to today's lesson where we're looking at management by wandering around, what it is and how to use it. So let's start with an overview. So management by wandering around is a style of management whereby managers walk the office floor to talk to their employees, ask questions and resolve issues where necessary. It allows managers it allows a manager to both model the behaviours they expect to see from others and remain engaged with their team and the front line of their organisation. Now, from the team's perspective, it enables them to be more connected to their manager, to raise concerns and issues and make suggestions to improve how things are done. It brings the manager to the team rather than waiting for the team to approach the manager. It makes the manager seem more like a person as opposed to a distant figure. Now, management by wandering around might sound like a fancy term for something very, very simple, such as wandering around the office, but it is actually a very deliberate strategy enabling the manager to engage closely with employees, learn about the issues and concerns they might have, and model the behavior they ex expect to see from their employees. Now, it was first practiced at Hewlett-Packard during the 70s, and in the 80s, the method was popularized by Tom Peters and Robert H. Waterman in their book, In Search of Excellence, Lessons from America's Best-Run Companies. Now, in the book, Peters and Waterman asserted that it was no accident that the most successful companies had managers that spent most of their time engaging with their team and the company's customers than the alternative of being confined to their office, holed up in their office all of the time. Now, what's the relevance of management by wandering around today? Well, business today is very different from that of the 70s, and actually it's even very different from that of the 80s. These days, a huge proportion of business is done using email, telephone calls, conference calls, electronic communication. Now, this communication could occur from satellite offices, from home offices, airport lounges, hotel rooms, and actually even from the back of a taxi. In today's world, although walking the office floor in person is always preferable, where that isn't possible, then you can still practice management by wandering around, by calling members of your team regularly at unplanned times and with no agenda, showing appreciation and recognition of individual team members when on conference calls and sharing what you've been up to with your team as well. Now, in many companies, close encounters between senior executives and more junior staff are very rare occurrences indeed, and management by wandering around aims to overcome that barrier. So if you'd like to start using management by wandering around, then there are a number of tips which can help you to do it right. Now, don't leave it to chance and undertake it in an ad hoc fashion. You know, instead, make a plan for it and preferably do it daily. Number two, it's your responsibility as the manager to strike up conversations. Don't just wander around the office hoping that someone speaks to you. Uh, number three, share any good news that you have as well as what you've been up to and invite others to share any good news that they have. Four, build rapport by talking about your family, your friends, your vacations and even your hobbies and invite others to share similar information if they feel they want to. Now, in general, you should be listening more than you talk. So whilst doing this, it's important to listen without making judgment. You don't want to be seen as a senior manager doing an inspection, but more of a peer or a coach engaging in a dialogue around how things are going and how things could be improved. Six, practice active listening. So, you know, recap what you're being told and, and use questions to dig deeper into what you're being told. Now, management by wandering around is something you should do alone. And by this I mean, you know, don't bring an entourage or your secretary with you. 
This is your chance to connect with your staff and your wider team. So make the most of it. Eight, keep your eyes open for employees doing something right and make a point to praise them publicly in front of their peers when you observe this. Nine, invite people to share ideas to improve what they do or improve things in general, you know, including the products and the services of your organization or your company. Now, treat management by wandering around as an opportunity not just to learn, but also as an opportunity for you to model the behavior you would like to see from your team. And it's an opportunity for you to share and to model company values. 11. Now, if you have a cafeteria, then use it to have lunch with an employee. If you don't have a cafeteria, then invite an employee to go for lunch with you. This is a great way to combine lunch with management by wandering around and finally and this is really important you know don't overdo it don't make people feel like they're under a microscope make it fun now if you can keep those two points in mind then people are going to share more information with you and not only that you know you'll enjoy the process more too Now, a couple of points to keep in mind when using management by wandering around. If you have satellite offices, then you might want to consider doing the following. Now, if you're responsible for an off-site office, then plan on visiting these offices into your schedule. Now, if you're unable to attend your satellite offices, then at least make calls to the people in that office regularly with no fixed agenda. Now, Another important point is that if you're visiting your satellite offices, office, then make a point to engage with individual employees and avoid, avoid the trap that a lot of people fall into of just spending time with managers or their direct reports at the satellite office. Now, finally, if you're a CEO or you lead a team of senior managers, then it's useful to make management by wandering around part of everyone's performance targets and part of how your team's bonus is calculated as well, you know, embed it throughout the organization. Now, the advantages of management by wandering around include, well, firstly, it makes you more approachable. Once your employees get used to you walking around regularly, they'll be more likely to see you as more of a peer than a superior and therefore more likely to share successes and issues with you. Next, it builds trust. So talking to employees regularly without making judgments just simply leads to increased trust. It encourages staff to hit goals. So building relationships based on sharing of issues can encourage staff to want to hit both individual and organizational goals. It can increase motivation because you're taking an interest in your people, your staff are going to feel less like unvalued numbers on a spreadsheet and more like valued members of the team, which is obviously going to increase motivation. It makes work less formal and more friendly, which can boost morale because people share information in an informal and friendly way. This less formal, more friendly and approachable workplace can also lead to reduced unnecessary stress amongst your staff. And finally, you know, your knowledge will increase. You will develop your understanding of how different parts of the organization work, and you learn different people's opinion about how what you do can be improved, and not even just what you do, but how what your organization does can be improved. Now, if done right, then management by wandering around can be very effective, but there are a number of dangers that you're going to need to watch out for. So firstly, it's a time-consuming strategy. It obviously takes a significant amount of time to walk around the office, and that takes time away from other tasks. Now, this can be exaggerated by the fact that not every conversation is going to lead to some kind of benefit, and because of this, 
It isn't suitable in every business situation, such as when an organization is under threat of closure, and the focus needs to be on execution rather than discussion and debate. Now, another disadvantage could be that it emphasizes the importance of employee, employee opinion. Now, this can be useful, of course, but it's important not to let it take you away from the other inputs you have into your decision making such as industry trends and what your competitors are doing. Now, another danger to watch out for is the manager can inadvertently influence staff decisions. So as a quick example, if your staff had identified two potential suppliers, but then you came along and suggested a third, there's a real danger your staff will assess the third supplier more favorably to win favor with you. So you've got to be careful with what you say to avoid this happening. Obviously, the implementation of management by wandering around is key. It's important not just to learn information as you wander around. You need to actually act upon that information that you're picking up. You know, give it to your direct reports or take action yourself. Uh, now, I kind of alluded to this before, but employees can feel as though they're under a microscope. If you don't strike the right balance, then basically staff are gonna feel like they're under surveillance. So that's just something to keep in mind. And, and finally, whilst it's a great tool, it can't be benchmarked. So there's no system in existence which can benchmark and measure the success or the value of your management by wandering around efforts. So in summary, you know, management by wandering around may seem like a management technique that is almost too simple to learn about, but to do it right, it must be done in a planned and deliberate manner to generate you know, the multi multiple benefits we've looked at. Now, there's lots of benefits like building trust, solving issues, increasing employee motivation, and obviously the main downside is that it takes time to establish good informal relationships with your staff so that they're you know, happy to talk to you openly. And, you know, the second big disadvantage really is that it's very time consuming to implement. So that's it, a very quick introduction to management by wandering around. Really hope you enjoyed this lesson and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.